Hello, welcome to the fourth dimension. Maria here. I am reading for the sign of Capricorn. Cap, I am working on pulling out uh, five cards from the Cosmic Insights. I haven't grabbed this deck for a while. I was called to it this morning. And I feel like, I feel like there's trust, right? You might've been through the ringer uh, in a, I feel like an end of a cycle is happening where you have been through um, some form of very, I don't know, like a horrific cycle. It's not just with one person. It's like a multitude of relationships. And I feel like you've elevated from the last chapter, the last cycle, and you're not tolerating the things that you used to tolerate and you're verbalizing it. And I feel like several of you started dating um, you're in new relationships, you're on a dating site, you're, I, it's fresh, it's brand new, it's not repeat. And I feel like you're kind of holding back uh, from jumping in, not a bad idea, mm -mm. Um, just because you're hesitant. If this is, a, if this is a previous relationship, you've entered a new chapter, a new cycle, you can go back and bring those characters into the new chapter uh, you could you can be re revisiting uh, a relationship or the start of something new, but you have pretty serious boundaries around what you won't uh, tolerate. So I think that's kind of the vibe I'm getting right off the cuff, Cap. First card out is give it time. I'm just gonna pull that one. It is in the yeah. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. Uh, letting things. Uh, grow and flow kind of like it you're sitting in your canoe that's my favorite <laughs> that's my favorite line especially this chapter we just got done purging and releasing and kind of like it's you know finding out what we want what do we want and the what do we want is not necessarily a certain skin suit you know like you might have tall dark and handsome on your on your list of uh, things you're trying to manifest but it's more of a character of a relationship. You want a friendship. You want um, intimacy, not just uh, physical attraction, although that be, that is important. Um, so that's kind of vibe I get. I feel like um, several of you putting boundaries up. This I'm going to put this on the side. So I have five cards out already, but I feel like two are kind of combined together. Uh, I have pre pregnancy and liar. So I feel like there was an interruption cap to your relationship this isn't for everybody. I'm going to tell you straight up, this is the vibe I'm getting. It's maybe a two, two or three. Somebody, there was an interference with this previous relationship and the third party tried to hold on to your past person by using, um, let's just say they were, they said they were pregnant. Came to be false. It was a false statement. Um, and that's, that, that can't be more clear for me. And this, um, it's coming through. If you're the Capricorn male dealing with somebody who is stating they are pregnant, um, they may still be pregnant, right? But it may not, it may not, you may not have anything to do with this. <laughs> Sorry. So I feel like you need to take a second and reevaluate this relationship. And if you want to invest, this is the vibe is you've just walked in. So in my mind's eye, I see this world, uh, the world happened and then you're in this wheel of fortune. You're going through new things. You might even feel different. You might be getting downloads. You're very aware, um, astute. You're very keen, um, to walking into a situation and immediately picking up, um, dishonesty, manipulation, distorted perceptions. I feel like that's downloads you're getting is you're very astute where before, if you had that feeling, you'd ignore it or you'd second guess it. It's now you're like red flag. You're very much aware. Caution. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that in, in the future cards. But right now, this is kind of the vibe I'm getting off these two cards is pregnancy and liar is something is the, the third party um, is somehow affected. And so you, whoever I'm reading for, um, whether you're a cross watcher or you're the Capricorn, male or female, this third party was trying to hold on to your person by distorting a truth. There you go. 
this relationship lacked intimacy and I feel like you're feeling holding back a little bit from stepping into the old relationship at the level that you were investing at. How's that? If it's an old one, if it's a future one, your fear of getting hurt is stopping you from investing emotionally, which is you're blocking your intimacy. And I feel like both of you are kind of getting over previous, if it's a new person or mm, I guess anybody, but the vibe I'm getting is you both have, you both have had wounds, um, not quite healed. And it's been a minute for both of you, but it's not quite healed. And yet you're still a little cautious. Um, you might, be in a new situation where you're questioning the level of intimacy uh you are liking this person but i just don't know if it hits the same and you're trying to see if this is something you want to invest in emotionally because the intimacy is you know sexual chemistry um reminiscing and it's in the reverse meaning there's something stopping you from jumping in whether it be sexual chemistry or you're comparing this person to your past person that might be a handful of you um and i'm saying be careful and this is the irony right now is caution side on the side so the caution in the upright find out more information um don't uh don't overwork yourself it's like don't over invest somewhere that you're not really invested in um that you're not getting that same energy back or if you feel um, immediate, like I, I'm seeing so many pictures in my head, I'm sorry, but it's like, if you feel like you, um, have invested and you're pursuing this person, that's the vibe is you're pursuing this person and it's not equally given back. If you're texting right away in the morning and they're not responding quickly, um, or it's just not, it's not equal. It's not an equal give and take. That's the feeling. That might be why you're hesitant on jumping in in intimacy. That's not for all the caps out here. I'm just saying there's a residual. It's like an under layer of the current. Is this person, you or this person's fear, depending on just the energy I'm reading, but it's this person's like pumping the brakes a little bit, gas in the brakes and the gas in the brakes. And that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from a lot of caps going, well, you know, I'm not really into this person. I like them or I find them attractive, but I just don't know it's not like x person and i'm being i'm saying be careful because the x person may have been a love bomber may have been a bit of a gaslighter had a lot of play you know got got a lot going on and broke your heart cap and i feel like you're comparing this person's energy to that person that person may have had some toxic behaviors was in and out um and uh holding on to that is stopping you from investing in this new thing Last thing is date night in the reverse. This person, I feel um, a lot of you too, is, it says get ready um, to be wine to dine and it's in the reverse. So I feel like uh, several of you are blocking that level of commitment and or you're expecting it or you don't want to get to that level. Uh, take it as it resonates. But it's also like... Um, you're not interested. I feel like you're not interested in seeing where this goes um, at that level. Or you're, again, a handful of you are waiting for it and it's not coming. It's stalled uh, because of, you know, these other situations going on. Lots of caps on this uh, read, I feel. Lots of different variations of healing. Several of you are coming out of a relationship. Several of you are entering new relationships. Um, many of you are in a relationship that is not uh, going in the direction you wish it to. You know and it's it's bothersome um so take this as it resonates if you want a personal read just hit me up in the comment section and we'll get something ironed out um cap and my apologies about the tardiness <laughs> getting the personal uh zodiac signs out it has been a bit uh different in my world right now and it's not bad it's just been busy tell me a little bit about cap spirit what's going on with cap First card out is Eight of Swords. Somebody is in anxiety about where this relationship is going. And again, reading for a lot of folks. I have the Page of Cups in the reverse. It came out in the reverse and then turned around into the upright. That's the back and forth, I feel. Um, should I best? Should I not? And Eight of um, Swords is uh, mental. So you might be dealing with a Gemini. might be dealing with an Aquarius. You might be dealing... Um, I also have Cups, so it could be a water sign. The two vibes, uh, the two strong... Energies I get is Aquarius and Gemini in the Page of Cups is heavy Cancer and Scorpio uh, vibe. It may be a Pisces. At first, several, you might be dealing with a Pisces cap. 
Yeah, somebody wanting to come back and invest in this, and that's a given time. I think somebody's waiting for somebody to come forward. Somebody's waiting, the anxiety, and so maybe the your person that you're dealing with is sitting in a spirit of anxiety, past person, I feel, um, wanting, should you know, the, the Eight of Swords for me is kind of like reflecting and being emotional over not giving to this relationship like they should have. And they should have offered you a higher level of commitment versus a wand. It's now a cup. Um, that's progress, but I don't know. I mean, it's it's still unrequited. I mean, you're coming as an empress or an emperor. You're coming as a as somebody who is straight up invested from the jump, and you were giving. You're the overgiver for sure. This person was a four of pentacles because now I have the six of pentacles describing their regret and their anxiety as I should have offered this and they know you were the better choice. Yeah, the ace of pentacles. They may come back and have a conversation with you. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time because, the, and I feel like I said this, I mean, I feel like this person's an undercooked chicken. They are emotionally unavailable. That's not because they could be dealing with another party, but whether they're single or not, it doesn't matter they could be in a room full of beautiful beautiful people and they are going to come off as un uninterested this person um they are unavailable that's the best way emotionally unavailable um i have the queen of cups in the reverse either you or they are dealing with this uh if this resonates okay if, you, if this hits you and there's a pregnancy somewhere in the mix or a communication about somebody being pregnant from i feel your past this person is showing up as a very angry childish defensive petty petty is the best word um uh person coming at you especially if i'm reading for uh another sign and this is the capricorn that you're dealing with sorry sorry that one human being i'm reading and i'm calling calling your stuff out but if that's the case a capricorn i feel like it's a capricorn or if you're if you're the male if you're a male capricorn this might be for that person um the queen of the queen of cups in the reverse is somebody who's super um like viciously vicious with their mouth sharp 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 and pa passive aggressive um the queen of cups in the upright is my kindergarten teacher loving kind nurturing will take care of you and this person i feel um or you saw your partner your ex-partner the person you're dealing with um as the queen of cups in the upright and now because i feel you pulled back your energy they're showing up as a reverse queen of cups you're seeing the negative side of this person the dark side the dark untreated unhealthy as we all have it you know passive aggressive person petty very petty um angry childish childish not getting in her way um and i feel like it's whether it's male or female but there is a pregnancy involved and you're going to find out that this somehow has been distorted a bit um, with the liar. I don't know how it's going to be. I don't want to flatly say you're not the the co-parent in this situation. You're not the other party um, or the whole thing's a farce. Either way, I feel as if whatever this is has been distorted to keep you. They wanted to keep you and they knew that you being a Capricorn, um, was gonna, you were gonna stay and do the right thing. Now I have the page of wands in the reverse. So this passionate new start is not happening. Is It's not something I feel um, that's going to lead anywhere. It is an attempt to hold somebody. You, I feel, is your spidey senses are on point and you recognize this um, and you're not, you're not moving forward. It's also stalled uh, due to multitude of issues. So I feel, Cap, if you're sitting on the fence going, should I, shouldn't I? Um, your spidey senses are pretty much leaning towards the no. And there's a, not just this reason, because you're re reminiscing about the past person that you fell in love with, um, but the other things are there's lack of intimacy, it's cold, it's, it's more transactional. <laughs> Sorry, Cap. I'm just being honest with you because I have intimacy in the reverse, cautious, and date night. That isn't going to occur in the future, or at least describing this. Tell me more. I think you're finding peace a little bit without this person, Cap. You've walked away. You're sitting in the Nine of Cups, and I see they see you happy. 
um, yeah, I have the Nine of Swords and the Six. They're very nostalgic. They're thinking of, or take it as it resonates, somebody's thinking of somebody else in a very nostalgic way, and they would love to rush in and have a conversation, but it's stalled. Um, and it's and it's also, I just saw the tower. I feel like they're going through new things. They're thinking about a new beginning. They're currently stuck in a, in a space of... Uh, can't come back at you can't there there's guilt there's a lot of ego cap whoever you're dealing with had a very high sense of self and quite frankly took advantage of the situation wasn't completely straight with you on uh, about what they had going on on the side um i have the knight of cups in the reverse right can't come forward to you and it's stalled and there might be deceptive i kind of get a deception like if i were to come back it would be just for a quick fling or it won't be fully committed because I have investments elsewhere. This is them feeling the miss of your energy, the miss of what you brought to the table cap. You know, the five of pentacles isn't the five of cups, it's the five of pentacles, meaning they um, miss the investment you gave and now they're feeling left in the left alone, left in, you don't feel like, and I feel like whoever you're dealing with, maybe this is you, um, and again, I'm just reading energy is, take it as it resonates but somebody is feeling like it wouldn't matter if I went back they went they would reject me or I or they could come a million times and I would reject them that's the feeling I have is somebody's feeling that way about coming back and that's what's stalling this this reconciliation is it was either with this emperor or the emperor in the upright is somebody who wants this and has a strategy to come and get this and feels balanced um, there isn't a whole lot of judgment going on I feel like Somebody stuck in um, looking at their side of their responsibilities uh, where where this fell apart. It's they're quickly they're quick to defend themselves about where this fell apart. In they they could take your inventory all damn day and say, well, she's this or he's that, and he's an asshole, and blah blah blah, and I'm a saint. And the reality is, is this was unrequited, and so the judgment isn't quite there because they haven't gotten awakened they're not awake I want to say or they're they're not looking at their side of the street they're not looking at what they're responsible for um, which is part of the barrier of you two reconciling is they aren't taking ownership of whatever the effery I feel that and it's not like this person maybe maybe they are running around everywhere but I don't get that vibe I feel like they're non-emotionally I'm going to stand on that they're not emotionally capable of connection they got hurt they got burned they got somehow something in the past had stopped them from from entering relationships at a level that you do easily you you get to a place where you're comfortable with investing at a higher level than you do yeah they're now gonna they're look that's what i'm saying they're that is spirit guy talking to me man I love tarot so i have this is an inner conflict look at this here we are with the king of cups Right? I feel like this is a handful of you. They might come back at you regretful that they stepped past this opportunity, not investing at the level that you did, right? Because I feel like you were the Queen of Cups and now they see you as the in the reverse. Um, and this in the reverse is guarded, right? The, the bitchy, <laughs> passive aggressive, you know, like this is a guarded queen. She's got her heart, heart broken and she ain't gonna let you do it again. And she had expectations that it wasn't met and vice versa cap if you're the cap you're coming off as the defensive uh queen of wands and this king of cups may come forward and say hey i've done some internal work i got some struggles that i'm dealing with i've got to close out um it's almost like they don't want you to move forward and they want to jump in and have this relationship you would feel like this is um you're in recovery from this right and this is still not justice this still is a petty apology um I don't think you want to reverse the ten of, ten of Wands. I don't feel like you're really invested in this relationship. I feel like you're dating other people, like I said. I feel like you're at least looking at um, and exploring other opportunities. And those are very attractive to you. I feel like you, if not, you're going to walk into one, smack dab into one cap. It's going to be your season. You're going to shine. And I feel like these are brand new beginnings. Okay. Yeah, you're healing from this. This is, they're going to stick in this, I feel. They're, it's almost like you went through the pain. You went and dealt with the pain as it was presented. This person won't, won't feel this pain until your energy's gone. And then they're going to, it's going to take a minute for them to connect that this is why I feel this way. I feel this way 
due to the gap of love, attention, affection. They might date other people, talk to other people, and they're like, it, uh-uh, this is not the same as it was with Capricorn, and I want I want my Capricorn back. Um, it's gonna take a while. I'm not even kidding. And it says, give it time for a reason. This might take upwards of six months to a year for this Capricorn to, um, or vice versa, if you're the Cap and you're dealing with this other person, um, for this energy to meet you halfway. But I still feel like they're gonna be a little, like they're not gonna take full ownership. They won't, yeah, they, hmm. I love tarot. So like the, the hermit in reverse is you've done this work. You are, you're coming out of the hermit mode. They have, they're resistant to go in. They're still trying to say it's her, it's him, it's you, it's whatever. And tr gonna be straight with you. It's, it, if it was, it was on a defensive mode because you're catching garbage that was happening in this relationship and calling it out. And now you're, gar you know, like you, re you're recovering from this and you're healing from this. And I find that if you're in a new relationship, the person that you're dealing with is also healing from the effery back here. The other person won't go in the hermit. You put a, yeah, you put a period in this, you move forward. They're going to want to come back and jump into a new cycle. I think you're super hesitant about this. That's what's happening. I think if you haven't met or you are, you're going into a period of focusing on work and abundance and new opportunities, a new job. You might also meet this king of pentacles uh, um, soon. It is This is, the, I feel, the energy that you're walking into. You are spending a lot of time uh, reflecting and looking and it's like taking a moment and looking back and saying, okay, what it's right when I started this reading, I said, what do you want to keep about what you want to go forward with to manifest? And what do you want to release that doesn't serve you for the next highest, best chapter of your, you know, your elevation, your, your, the things that brought you pain, you're releasing, you're forgiving these folks. You're just, it's like cleaning the table off, right? That's kind of the vibe. It's just like sweeping all the resentment, all the all the unmet expectations, and you're saying, I'm ready for a new chapter, and you're sitting in your canoe, and you're just waiting for the next chapter to begin. Yeah, you're walking into a season of uh, abundance. I feel this is the queen of wands. I'm the queen of wands, right? So it can she can get a lot of, of dirt thrown on her, um, but the Queen of Wands is single, typically single, or at least has the energy. She's extremely confident. She can walk in the room and people look at this person and when it's the energy she brings and when she leaves, the energy goes with her. This means that she's able to create something out of nothing. She is concrete. She is stable. She is a creator. This person's are very much a creator. I always think of VP of marketing and business because um, they go and create relationships when there weren't any. This person really values um, networks and people, and this might be the space you're walking into, I feel, is embracing um, being the best damn version of yourself, walking into a room, and the energy just exudes from you, and you are embarking on a new chapter of confidential, you know, like, uh, confidence and it's not ego and it's not arrogance it's just confidence you're very much feeling you're attractive you're very much feeling you're abundant you're powerful in your own skin this isn't about competing with anybody you're competing with yourself that's just fine so that's what I feel like you're looking at you're not you're not even looking at um, new opportunities like that's that hesitancy is you're stuck or stalled, it's stalled um, until you do the work and you're not quite done doing the work. You're not quite your finished product uh, as we all, you know, we're not, but I feel like um, if this person was to come back, it's not happening for a while. And I don't know if you'd really jump back in. This person might come back and have a conversation, but I don't know if you're gonna invest in it. I got the lovers in the reverse. I have the two of swords in the reverse. Is that in and out, hot and cold, and they're trying, it's stalled, right? And it's in the reverse. So it's same of, it's kind of the same old, same old, and you can't make a decision. And the page of swords is somebody might come forward and have an honest conversation with you. Handful, not everybody. This is not, this is a very stagnant energy for your read, um, but it's all undercurrent, right? It's not like in your face tower. This is undercurrent. The work is being done elsewhere and you're working on yourself. This is a period of you working on you and you are releasing the things that don't long, don't serve you anymore. All right, Cap, this is your reading. Thanks for your patience and your understanding. I'll get this posted sometime today. Again, if you're interested in the reading, it's in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for um, hitting that notification bell so you know when I post stuff up, up on the uh, site. So love and light to each and every one of you. Take care. Bye.